another new family member. Stay tuned to find out just which one it is. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Before I get into that, I just want to let you know about my little update about hunting. Um, hunting season, rifle season in New York is over. Right now it's muzzle loader, which I don't do. Um, I didn't see anything. I didn't get nothing. I'm going to change up my uh, tactics next year. Um, I hunt on public land, so I don't like to leave my blind out there because I did once and someone used it. But next year, I think I'm going to do that again. I have an older one that if somebody ruins it, what are you going to do? But I need to put it out there early because that's what I did last time when I got my last deer. That way the deer get used to it. I'm not making noise, setting it up, taking it down. We just go right into the blind and that's it. So I think that's the tactic next year in somewhat of a new area. Okay. Now to what this video is about. A new family member. Remember the last family member video I had was about my grandson. That was the family member. Well, this one's back on track of what the family member series was about. Um, I did get a new gun. And by the title, it was it's another Taurus. I think this is four or five Tauruses I have now. And this one is 44 Magnum. I'm pretty excited to have this one. It does look just like the, uh, it's a tracker, Taurus tracker 44 Magnum. It looks exactly like uh, my 357 tracker. They're pretty much the same thing, just different caliber. Uh, this one holds five rounds. I haven't shot it yet. This is the first, you know, I only got it the other day. So this holds five rounds in the cylinder. It's a four inch barrel. They put on the new upgraded grips which i like a lot better than the original because what the original was they had all these little ribs in it and it kind of bothered me i, I have that i had the ribs on my um judge and i switched that out so so these grips are pretty good um it also has ported ports here to make the, the recoil a little bit better but here's a little something you may not know yes it's known as a four inch barrel but what i didn't know and i looked into it more and i noticed it with this one the barrel is actually only three inches it comes up to where the ports are right here so basically with the ports here it's almost like a compensator if you want to call it that but yeah just so you know that when you get um if you get one of these it's not technically a four inch barrel because if it was the barrel would come out to the right to the front and it don't it's behind the ports so there's a little information about you know i learned it see i, I don't know everything i'm very much into guns and i know a lot but i don't know everything so uh you guys learn something there know too and it's uh single action double action the, the double action is kind of heavy i don't have my uh my gauge right now but i'm going to say it's about eight to nine pounds to pull it but it is very smooth and crisp there's no stacking there's no grit it is smooth and when you pull the hammer back it goes in the first action single action and wow it's got to be like a three four pound pull right there so I'm excited to get this out on the range. Uh, it might be a little while because now it's winter time. It's cold. I don't belong to my gun range no more. Um, it was getting too expensive for what I used it for. Um, they wanted $300 for the year now. And it could be cheaper if I was just going to do it for me. You know, just get me a pass and get the indoor range and the outdoor range it would have been cheaper but what fun is that i want to bring guests so i have to get a guest two guest passes and that costs a lot more money so i said you know what i i the guy that i buy this from mode at all-star pawn shop and i will leave his link down in the bottom so you can check out what guns you have you might see something you like 
he has land about 20 to 40 minutes away from me. And I've been there already. And he said I can go out there anytime. But it is just outside. And I'm not going out there in the winter. No way. So we'll have to wait until the spring before I get to shoot this. Unless something else comes up somewhere down the road. But yeah. And um, I do have two different kinds of ammo for this. The first one I have is Remington HTP. That's a high terminal performance. It's soft. It's jacketed soft points. And uh, this is the, the bullet that comes with a soft point. Now you can use these as as a uh, defense. They're good, for, they're good for hunting too. But you can use them for home defense or self-defense. Um, they work a lot better than uh, ball ammunition. Are they ideal? Maybe not. But it's, it's better than ball. So there you go with that. And then I got Hornady Lever Revolution. Now these are self-defense and home defense. Here's what the box looks like. And this is the bullet. It comes with a polymer front uh, tip. A red tip and then it you know it expands when it goes into the whatever you're shooting um these are 225 grain and the remingtons are where was it? Let me hear something. oh uh, 240 grain so yeah they're gonna have a little kick but everybody said that too about the 357 and let me tell you with those that compensator ports, it really uh, mitigates the kickback on, on the, the recoil. So once I get to figure out where I'm going to be able to shoot them, I will get out there and do it. And I also have the, the um, barrel and everything for the AR that I got from Bear Creek Arsenal, which I have to go out and shoot. But... You know, the holidays are real close, so I'm not looking to really go out there now and do that. So, um, if by some chance I don't make another video by then, Merry Christmas from my family to yours. And um, just like always, stay strong and be prepared. Or, no, no, you know, I always mess that up because I don't say it a lot. I don't make a lot of videos. Stay safe and be prepared. <laughs> Bye, guys.